cover the concept of Kimura control. Um, it's a heavy, heavy handed control that we can use in law enforcement to keep um, complete full body control of the guy. It's no difference in here. We hit the, the takedown previously on another video where we come in from behind, we do the, the rear takedown with the inside hook from like a cuffing position. Generally going to be done when here if somebody spins around on us or something. I'm coming in and I hit the takedown right here. Okay. Then we were basically coming over the leg in the event that the elbows come up. What the problem is, is if, if the elbows don't come up, we have to have another option. So we're going to go to the Kimura control. I'm just going to come out. I want to try to hook over this arm. In the event it's not there or I just it's too tight right here, I can't possibly do it. I'm just going to come right down over the top, drop on it. I'm now going to hit the Kimura control from behind, okay? Because I've got him here, it's real easy. If I start to feel that under that left side hand go underneath me, it's real simple for me to come right here, step over, all right? I come to this position, I can now submit, okay, from right here. If I don't want to do that, I can sit down, go ahead and come in here. I can hit my arm bar as well from the Kimura control position. So, again, the takedown here. Inside hook, down he goes. Hands are no longer there. I come right over the top. I lock up my offside Kimura control position. I can stay here if I want and just hold. If his hand goes underneath him, I can stop that. Coming right here. Okay. So, depending on where his arms are at, dictates what we do. Now, rear takedown with the leg submission for cuffing. Let's say I want to cuff him again. He bucks, not when he comes out of cuffs. Here, down he goes. I've already got this leg, so <clears throat> no real sense in me letting go of it. All I'm going to do is go from the small of the back to the pants. This is a leverage point. I'm going to come right around. Knee goes to the mat. Toe is pointing out. i got two options. I can either twist downward for the submission, okay? not quite as effective, or I can come right here, grab the meat, lay down until I get the tap or until I, until I tell him, put your hands behind your back, put them behind your back, put them behind your back. Once he does, I can switch out. I've still got pressure for the compliance technique. Drop it off. And I can go ahead and recuff him. At that point, I can let the pressure off, roll him right back over. And then we end up right back where we start.